Oh, yeah. Here we go Thursday. We have got all kinds of great stuff going on at Wildfire. We'd love to see you in here this Saturday at 9 a.m. We have a free open to the public class. Everybody's welcome. If you got friends, family, bring them at all skill levels. They're going to be able to have fun, get a great workout. Our coaches will be here to help modify accordingly, and our amazing community will be here to help cheer them on and work out with them. So come on in. We'd love to have you. So um, and if you want to do that, just get here a few minutes early and uh, come on in and we'll, we'll go through everything with you. So today for the warm up, we've got three rounds of 25 vertical jumps, 10 glute bridges, 10 crunches, and then five thread the needle stretch. So starting with that vertical jump, it's that jump rope simulation, spin those hands at your sides as you're staying on the toes the entire time. You want to make it more challenging, do a little bit more of a double under, a little bit more power with that jump, and really get those hands moving, two, two spins of the wrist for each jump every time. After your 20, oh, and if you need to scale it back a little bit, then just do a standing march and just a small step here and just keep those, those uh, arms and legs moving together. After the 25 vertical jumps, you've got 10 glute bridges. So you're going to be flat on your back, bring those heels up towards your butt underneath you, and push those glutes into the air, push those hips up into the air, squeeze the butt each time, and then right back down. And just keep that motion going. Really get that good squeeze in the core and in the butt with every rep. Doing this from a sitting position, get your hips off the, the couch and just push up the same way. This will also help stretch out the shoulders a little bit. After your 10 glute bridges, we've got 10 crunches. So same thing, flat on the back. This time you're going to bring your knees up and you're going to bring your elbows to your knees and just get that little crunch top of the core every time. Make sure you keep that lower back on the ground. From the, uh, from the bench, you can also do this where you're bringing your knees in to your chest each time. Finally, five thread the needle stretch. So you're going to be on your hand, uh, uh, hands and knees, and you're going to bring your right leg through and then switch. And this is just a stretch. So especially in that first round, if you want to hold it for a little longer, Get those shoulders opened up. That's what we're looking for. You can also do this from your platform, your front of the couch, just going back and forth the same way. So three rounds, 25 vertical jumps, 10 glute bridges, 10 crunches, and five thread the needles. For the workout, we've got two eight-minute AMRAPs. So you're going to go for eight minutes, as many rounds as possible, take a two minute rest and then do another eight minutes as many rounds as possible. You are going to restart at the beginning in the second round. And the goal is to be able to get more rounds in that second eight minutes than you did in the first. In the first, you're going to be able to see how far you can get. In the second, you can really push, pick up that speed, go a little faster on the pace. So you're getting more reps in that second round. We've got 10 air squats, 10 sit-ups, 10 plank balance, and 10 mule kicks that you're going to be doing in that eight minutes. So as many rounds as possible of those. Starting with the air squat, feet shoulder width apart, push those hips back and down, and all the way up at the top each time. And notice how I'm using my arms as a counterbalance and to really help me keep my chest up. If I don't have my arms go, I'm more than likely going to let that chest drop, and that's where you're going to start to feel it in the back later, and that's not what we want. The other thing is getting that full range of motion is actually going to take the pressure off of the knees and put it in the glutes and hamstrings. If I'm only going a little ways down, there's a lot more pressure in the knees each time. From a sitting position, you can just sit down and stand up or hold on to something to get that less resistance each time. After your 10 air squats, or you've got 10 sit-ups, so go straight legs, 
shoulders starting on the ground and throw those arms forward as you get up to the top and right back down again. And just keep that motion going, really engaging the core from a, a standing position. You can do this as well, where you're just bringing your knee in and just alternating between your right elbow to your left knee and left elbow to your right knee. Next is plank balance. And so on that plank balance, you're gonna be on your forearms and moving back and forth here. And really get that chest opened up. If you need to go off your knees on this one, same thing, just get that big rotation. And of course you can always do the same thing from the platform, right in there. Final exercise is 10 mule kicks. We worked a lot more glutes on the uh, air squats. On the, the mule kicks, you're gonna work a lot more hamstrings. So bend over at the waist, kick that leg up, and then switch. Right plus left equals one on these. If you need to go from uh, a platform, if getting all the way down isn't really working for you, then just hold on. Just make sure you stand up all the way in between. Don't just stay here and kick back. By standing up each time, you're gonna take the pressure off of those quads and that'll really help you keep this motion going. So eight minute AMRAP, two rounds, a two minute rest in between the two rounds. The goal is to get more reps in the second eight minutes than you did in the first, where you're gonna be doing 10 air squats, 10 sit-ups, 10 plank balance, and 10 mule kicks. So go hard. Have fun, make it a great day. This is your time. Whether you're getting your fitness going for the first time in a while, you're just keeping it going because you can't make it into the gym or just adding this into your additional training in the gym. That's all those three, three things are great and we're always here to help. So thanks a lot, guys. Keep it going. I'm Coach Skip signing off and I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.